Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are advised that this film contains images of people who have passed. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Greenough Museum and Gardens is proud to present the Martha Mary Farrelly Cooking Show! Today's special is Mary's famous wheat sausages with lima beans washed down with delicious wheat coffee. Yum! But first... Mary Farrelly was an extraordinary woman. She was one of the first female JPs in Western Australia. She was a staunch advocate of um, sex education for children and teenagers, and she played a pivotal role in prison reform in this state. She backed up her calls for prison reform by organising concerts for prisoners at Fremantle Prison, where she played the piano and inmates sang along to popular songs leaning out through the bars of their cells. The Daily News reported that the rafters rang to the chorus of Show Me The Way To Go Home at a Sunday afternoon concert in 1935. Mary was everywhere. She was on the radio. She gave hundreds of public speeches and demonstrations and had a busy social life, using her connections to promote her causes. In fact, Mary Farrelly was an expert in self-promotion. If she were alive today, she would have been a social media junkie with many thousands of followers. But she was most famous for her evangelical promotion of whole wheat as the basis of a healthy diet. It was a passion that bordered on obsession and occasionally some rather overstated claims. If these methods are followed, they will conduce to longevity, even to the extent of the user reaching the ripe age of 150 years. Mary Farrelly. Her wheat cookbook, first compiled in 1916, was so popular that it went to three editions and people were still writing to the newspapers in the 1940s requesting copies. Mary's entrepreneurial flair is demonstrated by the fact that this is a cookbook with ads. She was the master chef program of the 1920s. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, who eats sausages with lima beans? Whole wheat and bean sausages. Cook well lima beans. When soft, mash through a colander. Add half and half cooked wheat and beans, one tablespoon of cooking butter or dripping, seasoning and a little powdered sage. Shape into small sausages. Dip first in beaten egg then whole wheat breadcrumbs. Serve with tomato sauce. Well, here we have it. <laughs> My sausages turned into patties, but they're going to be delicious. Gary, yeah, gonna okay. try? Go on, have a taste, Gary. Followed by wheat coffee. Mary's wheat coffee recipe. Two pounds of bran, one cup of pollard, one cup of wheat meal, one cup of treacle, half a cup of water. So you add half a cup of hot water to the treacle, mix all the bran, pollard and wheat meal together, then mix the treacle thoroughly into them. Place in baking dishes in thin layers, bake a dark brown, stir well. Do not burn or else the coffee will be bitter. Put in tins and keep. Okay, you first. <laughs> and how does it taste, Gary? They didn't know what coffee was like in 1916. <laughs> Whatever we might think of wheat coffee these days, 
100 years ago, this remarkable woman was promoting the virtues of non-processed foods, pushing for free public kindergarten and childcare, advocating prison reform, and arguing for the rights of women and girls. Life means service. And if your time's occupied in helping others, there can be no room for discontent. We can all do something to make life happier for those around us.